Hi, I'm Jason Gorman from Codemanship, and this is your bonus Code Smell of the Week. We're still looking at message chains, um, and we're looking at an, an example which is very similar to the one we did before. Logically, it's directly equivalent. Um, only this time, instead of having one long navigation on one line of code, um, it's slightly more subtle, a bit more nuanced. We still have this um, this message chain from invoice to customer, from customer to address, from address to country, and so on. Um, but this time the navigations happen on separate lines, so it's a bit harder to spot. But we still know that customer is the only actual object that invoice should be directly collaborating with, according to the law of Demeter design principle. So to fix this, what I'm going to do, first of all, is get all of these navigations in one block of code, so that I can refactor them easily. So let's uh, sorry let's extract a local variable that'll do call it in Europe and we run the tests and now I can extract this block of code which contains the whole message chain into a helper method let's just call it is in Europe that'll do OK, and of course we run the tests. I can inline this now to tidy up a little bit. Because I just did it temporarily there to get all the code in one place. So now we have this private helper method called is in Europe. Um, we can inline this as well. This is a side effect of the refactoring. And as before, what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this, like sausage meat, through a sausage. We're going to squeeze this code down the chain. So let's move this method to the nearest neighbor, which is customer. Don't need a delegate, thank you very much. It needs to change the visibility, that's fine. So now this message chain, this se sequence of navigations, is gone from the invoice class. And it's moved into the customer class, into this method here first line of code here we already have an address field which is the same object so this line of code is redundant we can delete it okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this method we're going to squeeze it down the chain from customer to address this time we are going to need a delegate because we need the the messages to be passed down the chain which means we need a delegate on address um, for customer to use to get at this uh, this piece of data. Okay, and of course we run the tests. So we squeezed it down the chain, and now we go go look at the address class. We just have this one simple navigation here, just accessing a field. This line here is redundant because we have a country field which is the same object. So we can get rid of that. And essentially now, after I run the tests, the navigation is gone and we end up with pretty much the same code we had when we did it the other way around the first time. Thank you very much.